Hi guys, welcome. In today's video, we're gonna learn to customize bottom navigation view with the floating action button and how you can show notification badges on them. So let's get started. But before we begin, if you haven't subscribed the channel, please consider to do so and turn on the notifications to never miss any updates. Now in Android Studio, I have already created a project. So first, I'm gonna change this layout to a coordinator layout. You have to use a coordinator layout for this. Inside the layout, I'm gonna create a bottom app bar. So opening angle bracket, bottom app bar with match print and height wrap content. We need to give it an ID. So Android ID equal to bottom app bar. To place it at bottom, we'll set the layout gravity to bottom. And inside this, we have to create a bottom navigation view. So opening angle bracket, bottom navigation view, which should be match print and height wrap content. And we'll give it an ID as well. Android ID equal to bottom navigation you can see that there is a space at the left of the bottom navigation view and it's hard to remove so we're going to add same amount of space at the right side and that would be 12 dp of margin at the right side you also have to make the view transparent so android background set the color to transparent lastly we'll set the elevation to 0 dp to remove the drop shadow from it now we'll add the floating action button for that we'll go outside of the bottom app bar and here i'll create the floating action button with a height and width wrap content i'll set an icon on it now we'll anchor it to our bottom app bar so layout anchor and we'll select the bottom's app bar id okay now we have to center it and customize it for that, we'll go to our bottoms app bar. Here, we'll add fab align mode and set it to center. This will place the button at the center. Next, set the fab anchor mode to cuddle. This will give us that cutout in our bottom app bar. You can also increase the cut depth with fab cuddle margin and I'll set it to 10 dp. You can also adjust the button offset on the vertical direction on the cuddle with fab cuddle vertical offset. A higher value place it above and a lower value place it closer to the cutout. And with fab cuddle rounded corner radius, you can change the corner radius to cuddle. Now we need to add menus to our bottom navigation view. For that, I have already imported some icons in the drawable. So first right click on your rest directory, new, and dot resource directory. Here choose the resource type to menu and click OK. You will see a new menu directory in your rest directory. Right click on it, new, menu resource file. I will name it bottom nav menu and click OK. Here we'll create the menus for our bottom navigation view. So opening angle bracket item, I'll give it an ID, item 1, I'll continue in next null, I'll set an icon and a title. For next few items, I'll simply copy it and change the ID, icon and the title. Okay, now we'll go to our activity main.xml and in the bottom navigation view, I'll set the menu we have just created and I will also set the levels to be visible. Now you can see there is no extra space between the menus at the cuddle. To fix that, we'll go to our menus xml file 
and in here we'll add an item in between and change the id to item none remove the icon and set the title to an empty string now if we go back to our activity main you'll see there's a space between at these two items for adding notification badges we'll go to our main activity.java in the onCreate method first i'm gonna initialize the bottom navigation view so bottom navigation view i'm gonna call it bottom navigation view equal to find view by id r dot id dot bottom navigation now to create badges we're gonna use this class batch drawable i'm gonna call it batch drawable equal to bottom navigation dot we'll use this method get or create batch it takes the id of the menu item as the parameter to show the batch on them so i'll pass the id of the second item this batch drawable object contains lot of methods you can use the set number to display a number and set visible to toggle the visibility of the batch you can also explore the other methods for your need now let's run the app you will find the source code in the video description as you can see it's working if you want to use a rounded button instead of this one then you can go to values themes and open up this themes.xml file in here you have to change the parent material tree to material components and you will see rounded floating action button okay guys that's it for today if it was helpful please leave a like and you can ask any question in the comments take care